MindEd has grown consistently and significantly since its launch in 2014, and 2016 was no exception. In February, to coincide with Safer Internet Day, we launched a new online safety and wellbeing session at the Head Start Conference on Emotional Wellbeing in the Digital World. During Children's Mental Health Week, we used a social media campaign to raise awareness and were even referred to in the Huffington Post's Young Minds Matter campaign, which encouraged conversations around children's mental and emotional health. On the 21st of March, we launched Minded for Families at Whitehall with MP Sam Gima. This valuable resource was created for and in collaboration with parents and carers, and they were in attendance at the event along with other supporters. April saw the return of the RCPCH annual conference. The event was attended by 1,600 delegates who all had the opportunity to explore the new Mind Dead for Families resources. In May, we kicked off stage four of Mind Dead, funded by HEE, creating resources around combination therapies and the use of drug-based treatments and talking therapies. We were also excited to be made Campaign of the Month by the Safer Schools website. In August, Dr. Alistair Thompson visited sunny Barcelona to present Minded for Families at the Amy Conference, where it got a great reception. October brought with it an industry award for Minded for Families for Best Adapt Project at Learning Pool Live. We were also shortlisted for technical innovation at the prestigious International Learning Technologies Awards. We rounded off the year by helping young minds to create a video celebrating their involvement in Minded for Families, featuring the parents that were involved, talking about their experience. 2016 was a busy year, and we're looking forward to more exciting projects in 2017. With our renewed Information Standard Accreditation, we will continue to bring clear, trustworthy information about children's mental health to anyone who needs it.